I am in Melnik, Bulgaria, and my first day here, I was excited to find what I thought at the time was a Roman fortress left over from the Byzantine period, but it's not. This part is sort of up on the mountain. You can actually go up to the top of the mountain if you choose. And when I get down this structure, here's a cat who's been joining me part of the way. You'll hear him in the background. I will read a description from a tourist guide. Melnik, past, a former past, oops, sorry, former, present, future. I was a little shaky to get down from that part. This is rock. This is a piece of it that's off to the side of the main structure. And when I go down, I will show you the road that will take you down to see more of the wall. That is for this place. This is from the source I mentioned. During the reign of Khan Christian, 836 to 852, Melnik became a part of the Bulgarian state and under the reign of Simeon, developed into a strong, impregnable fortress that controlled the crossroad of Thessaloniki, Sardika, Plovdiv, Srimitsa. I'm going to put that away, and I'll take you to the main structure. You can see some of the interior, which you may not get in photos or other sources, I'm not sure. I I'm not Googling too much. So that is where we're leaving from. And I always caution to be careful. I'm in hiking shoes and I'm still being very careful with my footing. This is, you do not want to fall. That's the town of Melnik down there. Down there. This is a little mossy in places, but it's safe. But as soon as I can get a hold of a wall, I'm happier. False <laughs> sense of security. But the walls at least give you a sense that you're less likely. It also helps with balance. Oh, you're seeing a little bit more. There's some structure there, some edges. This path, if you follow it right, uh, you'll see some of the old walls as well, the same stone, and there's, they're kind of scattered, so don't just walk and see one and assume that's the end of it. So, again, be careful. I prefer walking on the rocks than on the dirt. Dirt in some places can be slippery, even with hiking shoes. And you can see, kind of, you can't make it out as clearly as I can in person, the top part of the main structure. And if you go follow left this way, you will come across uh, a wine cellar, man-made, that's built into the structure. And I think I'm going to go down this way. Very easy. I'm not sure how I got up here. But easier is always nicer for me. I think probably I walked up that way before. So, again, the top. So, some of the wall, it curves the edge of the fortress, and again, be careful going down. And there is grass in between, but we're going to, you can explore that if you're here in person, but I'm going to take the side path. 
to get into the main structure. So you can see some of the interior views. But hopefully this will also pique your interest. There are a lot of things about Bogarty I didn't know. That path you can curve around will take you another direction. This takes you inside the interior. And it's hard to say what these parts were used for. I don't know what is gone from the original. What remains? I will hopefully get to visit the museum and someone who speaks English and with a good background. You also have the option. There's that path, so there's a path behind it. You can also come down this way, which I will do. But I wanted to show you some. This being made of rocks and uh, this part being mostly grass suggests that maybe uh, that may have been an outside structure as opposed to an interior structure, or that it, it's an older part of it. But I am um, maybe but the moss. There is an edge here, but you can. I prefer initially to sit on the rocks and get my butt over. Uh, coming back, it may be easier to cross from the bottom. At least that has been my experience. Here we are. Good, we're still recording. Uh, sometimes when I'm trying a video, I lose the recording. So I'm going to take you down there. But this is an upshot. There are trees with, uh, with branches that will cut. I have many cuts on my legs to show for that because I'm not wearing jeans. But this gives you at least an idea. And I will be careful as I did last time, because it's easier to then, so this is to catacomb around. Just watch your sitting. And up and over. Sorry. When I'm climbing, going down something that might be a little risky, uh, the image is going to get distorted. So again, you could cross that path. There is stone. You can see the edge of it. I'm coming down this path by this rock. And you'll get as a passing view of the grassy part. So this is the structure. And there is, I think this may have been, or this is showing you the bottom. You can't really see from the camera angle or the sun. But I don't know if I can. I think going down there. I'm not sure. Ah, oh, yes. This is the the top part of the cave with the wood wooden beam. Um, I'll show you the cave. There are a couple of cave structures that are circular, and so back on the rocky path. And going down, see a little bit of Milnik. And here again, you have two options. You can follow the rocky path, which will take you around. Um, but I suggest going left from this direction, or the other direction going right, uh, because this is another, you'll get opportunities to go and explore the inside again. Do be careful here, however. You are that is a ledge. This, that part that I'm showing is the scariest part going down. It may be better to come back on that path, but for now, we're going to see if I can do this in 15 minutes. So, this is another part. And this is the first cave I was telling you about with the opening that I was looking down with the wooden beam. 
there is a pipe. This sand or dirt is a little dry. There are some muddy ones inside. A little water. And that was what I was looking down. I just hadn't connected it to the structure. This is my third time, I think, around this fortress. This is the outside shot. There's the pipe. And right now the light is poor. And I don't have a great camera. This is my phone camera, so I'm not going to be able to show you a lot of the details that you can see in person. Like here, it's not a seat, but it's been worn. It looks like a seat. There's striations. These appear if these are not in common in Bulgarian architecture in these older structures. I see a lot of that. There's a little, I wonder if I can get a better shot. And I'm right in the mud. But there's like a little space there. This part that's blocked, I'm going to take you to the light. You can actually see outside. This is like part of this. A little smaller, there is an incline here. And then it drops, so be careful when you're coming this direction. And you'll see it better in person, even with the stem lighting. So here is the hole. You can see. I'm not sure if maybe they used it to fire uh, guns at approaching enemy. But this is a secular structure. And again, just be aware, there may be mud, water, makes it easier to walk. You can hear the squishiness. So, coming back out, and up. And there is another entrance here. And there is an entrance there that will take you to a ceiling structure. But I'm going to come in through this entrance. And it actually has another entrance here, which I will come out of. So here was the hole. So whether you can see much of it. So that was the... Oh! There's some light there from the cave. So you see the ledge a little bit there. And that was the top structure where I first came in on. Seem to climb up over this. There is a little structure there which I will climb through. But first I'm going to go through that. These wooden beams, I've seen them several places here. This may have been left over by maybe construction workers. I like to use the sides of the fortress to help me in. This is a smaller cave-like structure. Again, you're not going to make out so much details because the light right now is poor. But, um, oops. I'm going to try to give you what I can. But, yes. A little higher there, but again, the place you want to see in person to really appreciate what you're looking at. I'm going back down. Woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. And so that was that. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is the second first entrance I came through. This is this little thing. If you can get inside. Give me a second. Ah. 
I'm listening. Okay. There's the hole out. You can see some more of the wooden grass. You can see the windows. I don't know if they're windows, but the top parts with wood. And I'm past the 15 minute mark, but we'll see if I can post this. Okay, I thought for a moment there I had stopped it. So I'm coming back out. Uh, on your unfit, use your body. I will sit. Then, whatever it takes to get in or out of something, if I feel my curiosity is peaked enough, let me see that. Structures like this, hell yeah. I would not. So, cool. So, this is second entrance. It will take us to the roof or our ceiling. And I don't know if this is part of this structure, so. And then, then and I will come inside there momentarily. And then I will do a part two and show you another structure that may have been the old castle. Um, but it's on the other side, the mountain. We have a lamp post there. So that is a hedge. I think a computer. You can see the grass there. The edges. Be careful. This is very a very old structure. And when I was on that side, you could feel some of it crack the top layer. So just be careful. Oh, yeah, there's like a hole down there that may have been a well. Sorry for my finger. But another view of Monique. So. I will come back up. And this is the part that's going to be a little scary once I show you the wall. Because when you go down, there are some coming through the centrals. Uh, going down there, those rocks are slippery. Uh, many of the rocks here are stable. Some are not. So this was... Ah, I already showed you this. Okay. So now, time for the scary structure. And I have tried many times to film this as I was going down, but I keep turning it off. So if it turns off, that will be the end of the tour. If it doesn't turn off, then we will be good. And you will be able to see everything, maybe, hopefully, in one shot. I am going to be to use the side of the fortress to help me part of the way. As I said, be extremely careful if you decide to do this. You can also, as I said, have gone down the road and that top part will connect uh, with the road. But if you decide to be a little braver, 
just be careful. Going down. That's all you can see. And use the side of the balance. What I may do and go, okay, I'm still just be patient with me. As I try to figure out me down. Yesterday was scarier because I was in, um, and as I said, if you're not sure, use your body. So right now, just to, yeah, that rock me, um, use your body. You can sit. It is better to sit because if you stumble a little bit, it's okay. It will be better than if you fall. And find yourself somersaulting over these rocks. So, so far, we are good. I'm sorry for the zones right now because I'm going how can you sliding? Sliding. And there's this part. It's a little bit easier to clean up. So once you get to here, you can put it up a little bit. Ah. Okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. So that is what I've come down. There is the big window. There is another square hole. Oh. And branches. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Here's another hole. <laughs> and you can see, I'm not sure. This may have been storage. Oh, okay. Oh. I'll show you what which is over there. It is in Bulgarian, but this is the fortress. It's from the time of Simeon. So again, if I had wanted to cheat, I could have come this way. <laughs> it's not really cheating. It would have been uh, prudent, safer. Yeah. So it's the fun in that sometimes. Now, so the black, some of the letters are totally gone. Oh, yeah, Skata, Gusta, I'm not sure, the pronunciation. And back down to branches. So that winds around and it eventually becomes uh, dirt or sand. This looks like it may have been target. Maybe this was the well on the top where they actually Hold the water from. I don't know if I can get a very good view of the plaque. Pazete Pamet Nitsitama. Kultura Tiete Sa Zivi. Zide. Tali na vekovete. 
my pronunciation is not great, but so this concludes part one of the tour, which hopefully I can post to YouTube. It is now just over 25 minutes. I will come back with part two of the cast.